Alright, so how's it going? I felt like I had to do a bit of a um, first impressions type of thing at a Baptiste. Because he is a lot of fun. For some reason, my monitor does not seem like it's running at 144 hertz. Hmm. Give me a second here. Try to figure this out. This guy's a lot better. Um. And yeah, this is Baptiste, the new hero that has been introduced. He's available in PTR right now. And I gotta say, I'm already liking him. Because it allows uh, me to utilize even more my, what I like to call it, DPS mentality, I guess. While remaining as support. So his weapon. His primary fire is a three round burst, I think. Yeah, it's a three round burst. That's quite decent damage. Um, his shift is like a pulse heal ability, it's weird. I don't really know how it works properly yet, just because I'm testing out on bots. Uh, his right click is also a heal, which I'll wait for these bots to take a bit more damage. So his alternate fire, it's a, it's a grenade that heals friendlies. So left click damage, right click grenade that heals. Uh, if you press E, that's his immortality field ability. It basically, your teammates still take damage, so it's not a shield, but it prevents your teammates from dying, right? So they can't go past that certain marker of health as long as they're inside that area. And I think the immortality shield can get destroyed. It can regen pretty quick, which is a little bit ridiculous. But, um. Actually, that would have been a good situation to use my shift, I think. So, as long as this can get destroyed. Okay, yeah, that has health. So, the field can get destroyed. Which makes it less of a problem that has, like, a 15 second cooldown. Actually, it has quite a long cooldown, now that I think about it. I'm gonna actually look at the cooldown it has. But, uh, so it is a progressive heal thing. So, so it is like a temporary AOE heal. So it's kind of, it's almost like, um, it's a good comparison. Fucking, what's her name? It's almost like Brigitte with her fucking Inspire ability. Or it's kind of like an AoE heal type thing, except this one isn't based off damage, you just can't use it. It lasts for a few seconds, it's a lot more healing than Brigitte's uh, AoE. But just because it's a very temporary effect, you have to wait for it to regen. It has a 50 second cooldown, and the immortality field has a 20 second cooldown. There you go. Now the ultimate ability is pretty interesting. It's basically like a damage boost thing, so you put it in front of the enemies. Each of them. <laughs> Just got one bursted to the head. It's pretty solid. Uh, so its exact name is Amplification Matrix. Projectile Matrix that doubles the damage and healing effects of allied projectiles. So let's say you have that up. And you have a friendly Ana shooting through that Matrix at a teammate to heal. And it'll do double the healing of her normal shot. That's what I'm interpreting from that. I, want, I do want to test it out at some point. But that is my understanding so far. Also, this uh, jump that I've been doing. All you have to do is hold down control. There's no cooldown on it. Just hold down control until it's fully charged and hit space to jump. You get like a boost to jump. Which is pretty nice. It allows you to to higher places. Or more easily access higher spots that are normally a bit of a pain in the ass to access. So I, I do want to get try to get used to his mortality field <laughs> ability, like the range it has. You saw there, it has quite a bit of range. Uh, let me put the 
matrixing down. Oh yeah, see, so I think that kind of proves it on the thing. Because it's just way more healing when I shot the grenades through the matrix. So that ultimate ability would combo pretty well with Ana. Also combo incredibly well with like a nano boosted soldier. <laughs> because just the DPS output, like double the damage that the soldier already does while a nano boosted. Or na nano boosted. I said nano boosted. Uh, nano boosted. So nano boosted ulting soldier with that field up in front of the enemies I hate shooting at. Like he just stands right behind that field. That's insane. You literally just melt to the enemy team within seconds. <laughs> uh, set down. Yeah, do some healing. Place that right in front of a bastion. That'd be insane. We're talking about fucking shield shredding on Bastion. That would annihilate shields within a millisecond. That's a bit of an exaggeration, but it would absolutely just melt shields faster than Bastion already does. I'm a fan of this immortality shield thing. You could really save teammates with that. Or just, well, you have to keep in mind it has the long cooldown. But if utilized properly, you could definitely save a teammate. Right, let's say you have like a Zenyatta that's getting dived or something like that. You should be like, hey Zenyatta, take this. And you know, he won't be able to die. So Baptiste, in my opinion, really is a Zenyatta type of hero. Where he is a support. But he can also be pretty effectively used to do decent damage. Not nearly the same level as Zenyatta, obviously. Zenyatta is just insane when it comes to his DPS potential. But, uh. Also, you can't use your grenades to heal yourself, so keep that in mind. You can heal yourself only with Shift. I am a fan with this weapon. I think what I'm gonna do is probably spend a lot of time on PTR. Uh, testing out his gun, just doing some injury with this gun because I think I'll actually play quite a bit of this hero when he actually gets released in the full game. He seems like a really fucking good hero, for this, at least for my play style. Yeah, so far, I'm gonna say Baptiste seems just like a pretty fun hero to play. I feel like I can. Do some pretty big uh, damage with them. Pretty fuck up enemy teams. Quite decent healing. Grenade like kill pretty decently. Like, I just have him in the fight with people when they hit that shift ability. Pretty useful. So all you need to really do is stand right behind this. Oh, this would actually be really good to combo with Reinhardt as well. You just get Reinhardt to stand in front of it. So that way you can fire from right behind it without taking any damage. Trying to see if I can determine if his weapon's like not his skin. I think it is. I think it's not, it has to be his skin. It just it doesn't feel like it's not his skin weapon. I think it's just the fact that it's a burst. I don't think they ever had a. I think this is the first thing that actually is a burst weapon in Overwatch. Let me just go ahead and KMS here because I'm pretty sure we have not had a burst weapon before. Yeah. And none of these heroes are burst. I mean, technically, I guess in y'all's right click if you want to count that. 
but um yeah, I don't know. Overall, that piece pretty fucking solid. I am actually uh, quite looking forward to when you get to add to the full release of the game, not just PTR. Here's a piece.